Good evening. The best performance of the Cup today, no doubt about it, by bottom of the table, second division, that is, Fulham, beating Sunderland by four goals to one. The most pleasing performance in many ways, uh, the draw achieved by the non-league side Kettering Town at Bristol Rovers. The biggest crowd of the day at Cardiff's game against Arsenal. And the most joyful reaction, predictably, inevitably, of course, from the Aston Villa manager, Tommy Doherty. Doc celebrated the two goals that Aston Villa scored against Queen's Park Rangers, his old club for such a brief time uh, late in the last year, beat Queen's Park Rangers by two goals to one today to go into the fourth round, and later in the programme we shall be talking to Tommy Doherty in Birmingham. Well now we've got action tonight from three matches, Everton versus Ipswich, Everton of course the beaten finalists last season in the FA Cup, we've also got Cardiff versus Arsenal, and the match that brought some glamour to football in the West Country. The visit of the European champions, Manchester United, to play lowly Exeter City, placed 91st in the four divisions, next to bottom of the fourth division. Your commentator, Alan Weeks. And a fine afternoon at Exeter for this FA Cup third round tie between Exeter City and Manchester United. A very orderly 18,500 capacity crowd, and those who can't see from the terraces overspilled up into the trees. The Exeter City team, using a 4-3-3 formation, the man to watch is number eight, Alan Banks, scored 15 goals for Exeter this season. Number nine, Alan Pickney, an amateur, playing in only his fourth match for Exeter City. And up on the roofs, the crowd's watching Manchester United kicking into their goal at the other end. The Manchester United team, using a 4-2-4 formation, Fitzpatrick, number four, coming in in place of Paddy Creran. Four front runners, Sartori comes in at number 11 with David Sadler as a substitute. Four front runners, George Best, Brian Kidd, Dennis Law, and Sartori. And so it's the European champions, Manchester United, who kick off against Exeter City, next to bottom of the fourth division in this fairy tale cup tie at Exeter. A fine afternoon at St James Park, 18,500 people, a very orderly crowd as Manchester United in the dark shirts attacking the goal to the right, try and come in for the attack. Quick tackling by Alan Banks and a throw in immediately to Manchester United. United playing 4-2-4 four, four, and Exeter City using 4-3-3, perhaps a slightly more defensive situation. Exeter coming into the tackle very quickly. This is Carlo Sartori giving it to Nobby Stars with the throw. Fitzpatrick taking the place of Pat Crerand. Long-haired lad. Go to Exeter. And will be taken by their right back, Cecil Smith. Cecil Smythe, an Irishman, seven seasons with Exeter. Throw again. Again, it's Smythe with the throw. Alan Banks, the man that Manchester United have got to watch. Carlos Altori asking for the ball, a throw into Manchester United. Dennis Snore going to take it. Dennis Law, one of the three European footballers of the year in the Manchester United side. George Best, Bobby Charlton and Dennis Law all won that title. And Georgie Best, of course, the most recent. Alex Stepney. Tony Dunn with a lot of room out for Georgie Best. Best take also oh, a beautiful dribbling by Best. Young amateur took down George Best. And sun shining now. Some of the passing a bit off the target. And Mr. Wallace seemed to be in two minds about that. He's going to call the kick back. It was taken too quickly, but it certainly did look as though perhaps uh, Mike Borson had backed into Fitzpatrick as he went up into the air to head the ball. Anyway, the free kick to Exeter City being taken by the captain, Johnny Newman. Just on the halfway line. Newman with the kick. 
Paulson. Ball skidding through. Out quickly by James. This is Johnny Mitten. And Mitten pushed away by Fitzpatrick and the referee, Mr. Wallace, pointing at Fitzpatrick. Another free kick to Exeter City. Johnny Newman again. He's about, about 20 yards on the last free kick. 15 minutes of play gone. No score. Newman with a kick. And Sharples was up there for it. Brian Kidd into touch. The throw goes to Exeter City. And the European champions looking at front. I might worry. This is Alan Pinkney. Good ball. A lovely goal. And it's there. A lovely goal. Alan Banks is the scorer. What a goal. Stepney was left absolutely stranded. Here's the value of the quick throw. And Jim Lane with the throw. Across to Alan Pinkney. So the forward. They're calling for it up in the centre. But he sees Banks on the left. Takes it across the bank. Stepney has moved across to the left of the goal. Banks header and Stepney is caught. He has to move very quickly but just doesn't quite reach it. And that put Exeter City next to bottom in the fourth division ahead of the European champions. Manchester United kick off again. One goal down and now they're going to have to really pull out the stops. 15 minutes of play gone, Exeter City leading Manchester United by one goal to nil and a great goal by Alan Banks. Fitzpatrick now. Georgie Best. Led away by Newman. Orson, this is Nobby Styles. A bit of aimless kicking by the champions. the crowd and are they happy at this moment? Brian Sharples arm right over Brian Kidd's shoulder as he went up for it. Free kick to United. Bright sunlight now coming from the left hand side of the pitch so the Exeter players have got this bright sunlight in their eyes as Bobby Charlton looks as though he's going to come up for this kick. It's either Charlton or Burns. Charlton to Burns. Georgie Best. It's a good header. Well, there again, that was a deceptive one because Georgie Best headed that one beautifully. George Best, very deceptive, very casual, just floated it over and Shearing had to tip it over the bar. Corner to Manchester United, Carlo Sartori. That's a good one. Martin Paulson standing on no ceremony at all. This is Banks. Georgie Best robs him. Good ball by Best. United started to move it from wing to wing. This is Law. Bobby Charlton. Charlton down on that left wing. Sartori. And it's Keith Harvey who concedes the corner. United looking dangerous there. Bobby Charlton with the corner. It's a good one. And that one would have beaten Shearing. He didn't move on it. That was a short, sharp corner by Charlton. Dennis Law in there on it. So Tony Dunn. John Corr just stopping it from going out of play. Patrick with him. To Jim Blaine trying to overlap and Fitzpatrick pushing it away into touch. Jim Blaine with the throw. Exeter City holding their own, leading by one goal to nil. Throw to Exeter City. Paulson and Tony Dunn kicking it away into the crowd. The United defence are not taking any chances at all. Tony Dunn who forced that one away. This is Johnny Newman loading it back again. Is Alan Banks there? Alan Banks has looked like a handball. There's another goal. It's done for, but the referee has blown. There was certainly a handball in the middle of it. Quite sure there was a handball before the ball went anywhere near the net. I called a handball, and I was 
obviously didn't hear the referee's whistle, neither did the Exeter City players. But anyway, Exeter City have had that ball in the net twice, which is something against the European champions. They're still leading one goal to nil. This is Fitzpatrick. Tony Dunn. Sartori. Smythe. Way into touch. Frankie Burns with the throw. Mike Paulson, who's been a full back. That's going to be a corner. Mike. Best, a very quick corner to Sartori. Tantalizing best. Drawing them in. A neat flick to Sartori. It's a good shot, and it's a great save. A good header there by... Steve James, Manchester United now starting to carve a few openings. Bobby Styles playing for safety. And that's Stephanie. Tony Dunn coming in first. Now the Exeter City players look to me as though they're having trouble from this very bright sun which is very low over the opposite end of the ground. If the ball's coming in high, they're having to put their hands in front of their faces to shield their eyes from the sun. This is Frankie Burns. George Best asking his man to come on. There's the shot. Not far off the target. That was Georgie tantalizing, asking a man to come and try and take the ball off him. Shearing with a kick. Says Smythe to Pinkney. James isn't going to get Pinkney anywhere because it's Pinkney who made the pass. So Johnny Mitten. Have a throw to Exeter. Right down in the corner. Johnny Mitten going to take it. That's the throw. This is Pinkney number nine. Another throw. Pinkney to take it. Johnny Mitten number ten. Smile across the ball. Rather luckily comes the blame. That's a good ball. A good ball. Pinkney. He's beaten two men, but he's drawn it back too far. Mitten with a shot. And it's only just outside. Oh, a lovely try by Exeter City. One thought at first that perhaps Pickney might have had a crack at first go, but he beat two men, and there was Mitten to put it through. Burns, Sartori, and it's Smythe. Smythe now right on the edge of the penalty area. It's a good one. Stephanie had a lot of trouble with that. Smythe's shot was an excellent one. A corner now for Exeter City. Smythe on the right there, the man who put the shot in, which made Stepney extend himself. Corner now. It'll be taken by John Corr. Keith Harvey, who uh, heads it away, and George Best back again for Manchester United. Out comes Brian Kidd, and he's moving fast. He's going to have to run fast. Johnny Newman, a beautiful tackle. Took it right off Kidd's toe. This is Pinkney. Trying to flick it through. Sartori, almost taken down by Smythe. This is Frankie.